Hello, YouTube! It is the computer wizard here with my first video! Woo! Today, I'm just gonna start out with something simple, and most of you either have, have upgraded Windows 8 or have S Windows 7 Home Premium and want to get Windows XP mode, but figured out that in Windows 8, Microsoft has ended support for it. So today, I'm going to show you how to get it in Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 7 Home Premium, and all other operating systems that can run this. So the things you are going to need is, and this is, this first thing is only recommended, a broadband internet connection. It takes about two minutes to download. The program itself is about 90 megabytes, so you're going to need... You're gonna need at least five gigabytes of hard drives. You're gonna need about for at Windows XP. You're gonna need about 50 gigabytes of hard drive space, and at least at least 512 megabytes of RAM. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're gonna want to have is a VMware player. Now for I have it right here, and for those of you that don't have it, um, the I have a link. The link will be in the description. Um, the download only takes a few minutes on broadband. Um, I live in an apartment complex and they provide free internet, so I use that. I'm not sure if it's broadband or not, but I have Windows 7 Ultimate, so I don't need to use this. I did have Home Premium, but I've been, I've, 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 I've upgraded. So, this is going to take you to Softonic. It's a website I use all the time. It's perfectly good. There's no viruses or nothing. Um... So you're gonna want to hit. Um, oh, my computer's being slow. Okay, there we go. So you're gonna want to hit free download, safe download. Now, I'm um, I you've been using it for about a month now, and I've downloaded at least 30 different programs, and I have not gotten anything. It's all good. It's all it's fast. It's a fast and quick download. You gotta be careful when the Softonic down downloader opens because it'll try and trick you into downloading stuff you do not want. So you gotta watch and hit decline unless you want it. So you're gonna hit free download. Oh lord. My computer's starting to catch up. Let me see how much memory I'm using. Okay, that shouldn't be too... Um... But, um... You're gonna hit free download and it's gonna download. Now, if you're using Internet Explorer, I recommend using Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, anything but Internet Explorer for this, because with Internet Explorer, it'll take twice as long. So, okay, so once that's done downloading, you're going to, the second thing you're going to need is the operating system installation disk. This will not work without the disk. Um, you cannot use a system image or a restore disk because it, it could mess up the hard drive really easy. And this works with all operating systems. I'm not 100% sure if it works with the Mac OS X yet. Um, I don't, I'm not, I doubt it will. I'm not sure if they make discs for it or not. But if they do, leave it in the comments and um, then I can post it. So, then what you're going to want to do when it downloads, open VMware Player. And this is what it'll look like if you got the right version. You have to have 6.0.0 for it to work. I've I've had other versions, but I've had problems with them. So this is the best version I've had. So then what you wanna what you wanna do is hit create a new virtual machine. And this little window right here will pop up. Just give it a sec. This little thing will pop up. New virtual machine wizard. Now, if you have an ISO file, you can use that. I don't have one. And if you don't have the operating system and you want to install it later, you can just hit this. And it will still create the virtual machine, but you won't be able to use it until you install the operating system. So, then what you're going to do is, it t it's easiest with the disk drive. ISO file, it's just as good. This works all the way up to Windows 8.1. You're going to want to update everything. Uh, everything should be updated, and it, then it'll work correctly. 
Now, once that is installed, it should boot up. It'll it, once you st get it installed and start using it, it boots up like a normal computer. But um, it just it acts like a normal computer, and when it starts to boot up, you'll still be able to see your um regular arrow. What you're gonna want to do is hit Control and then hit G, and then it'll input your devices in your like your mouse and your keyboard into the thing to so return to your computer you just press control alt and it'll show back up you can also do this by clicking just clicking once in the box then it'll input your devices into the um, virtual machine so like I say it'll boot up like a normal computer all that and then once it's done you probably have to set it up the Windows installation for me takes about 45 minutes um, plus it does slow down a minute because my computer only has 4 gigabytes of RAM. So, yeah. Um, I only have 500 gigabytes and, um, it, it uses up about 50 when you fill it. Oh, Lord, what the? Okay, um, you sh this shouldn't happen to you. Um, not sure why this is happening. Because I had it all set up last time. Let me try full screening it. Nope. I don't know what happened. Um. This has never happened to me before. Okay. Um. It's what it looks like on my laptop. Um. This isn't right. Okay, you guys, I'm going to pause the recording until I can fix this. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so um, my VMware player just stopped, just randomly closed down. Um, and to manage how much RAM it uses, put if you have Windows 7, put one of these little desktop icons on your desktop to manage how much of your CPU you're using and how much RAM. You can do this just by right clicking anywhere on the desktop. Go to down to gadgets, click on that, and this will pop up. You just hit CPU meter, click on it, left click, drag, and there you go. There's also a clock, calendar, weather, Windows Media, feed headlines, currency, picture puzzle, and a slideshow. I have this because I have ABG. But I don't know if you guys will have that or not. But if you do, then you can put that there. But it does take up a lot of space. So, yep. Um, that's um, how you get Windows XP mode. If this was helpful, like, subscribe, comment. And it'll re it really helps my channel. I'm a new channel. I also have a Minecraft channel. It's Minecraft Bosses 289 I also have another person with me named Tazzy Ty. You guys will have to check that out. We only have a few videos uploaded, but we are going to start uploading. So, yeah, check us out. Alright, bye guys.